Let's look at a more detailed overview of CHAP and the concepts and details that come into play. First, the most important thing to realize is that CHAP replaces a much less secure protocol known as PAP, or Password Authentication Protocol. Password Authentication Protocol often meant that the password itself passed unencrypted or in the clear across the network media. This meant that anyone with a packet analyzer could decipher or pull that password out and then use it to gain unauthorized access to the system. CHAP is also more secure than the original encryption implemented in PAP because it uses MD5, a very powerful hashing algorithm. As a result, the password, even in a hashed format, does not pass across the wire. So what do we use CHAP for? Primarily, CHAP is used for remote login sessions, point-to-point -point protocol connections, routing and remote access sessions, this is Microsoft's VPN and dial-in support services, and anything requiring authenticated web services, again primarily in a Microsoft platform. Now Microsoft has upgraded CHAP using newer technology, and so as you're implementing CHAP, make sure whenever possible you're using MS CHAP version 2. This not only requires that the client and the server authenticate to each other, an improvement over the previous versions, which only required the client to authenticate to the server, but it also uses a much stronger encryption algorithm, making it much more difficult to crack or break and penetrate the secrecy surrounding this important process of authenticating a user to a network. 